Anosmia, no smell. Hyposmia, less smell. Dysosmia, distorted smell. Parosmia, wrong smell. Cacosmia, bad smell. Phantosmia, a smell with no source. Hi YouTube, this is Jack from ENT Bites, and today I'll be explaining medical terms for smell loss. If you're like me, I found all the different medical terms for smell loss really confusing, so like any good doctor, I went ahead and googled it, and I'll explain some of these now. Smell loss can be described as being either quantitative or qualitative. What those words mean is quantitative is like the volume switch on a music player, so you can think of it as how uh, how loud the smell is, uh, whether you can smell something or whether you can't smell anything or you can only mildly smell it. The second category is called qualitative uh, smell loss, which is essentially how well you can distinguish between different kinds of smell. So can you distinguish between an orange and a banana, for example? These different kinds of smell loss can then be further divided into the terms that I mentioned at the beginning. So the quantitative smell loss medical terms would include anosmia and hyposmia, whereas the qualitative terms would include dysosmia uh, and as a subset of dysosmia, parosmia, cacosmia and uh, also phantosmia. Anosmia is a total smell loss. It comes from not and smell uh, in Greek, uh, which is one way that you could remember it. Uh, an example of my own is when I lost my sense of smell due to COVID. What I immediately noticed is that I just couldn't smell anything uh, at all. Uh, and you can see one of my earlier videos for that experience. Hyposmia is a reduced sense of smell. So this is like that volume switch being um, not at zero, and not at 100%, but in the middle. Uh, for example, this would be myself now, where my smell is uh, recovering. Uh, however, it's not up to 100%. And that comes from the Greek for uh, under and smell. Dysosmia is a distorted sense of smell. Uh, and this is a, a category for pretty much all of the qualitative uh, smell loss uh, terms. It comes from the Greek uh, for bad and smell. Parosmia, uh, meaning side and smell, is when one smell smells like something else. Uh, now, a few weeks ago, I saw a patient in clinic who had parosmia, and they said that certain fruits smelled like uh, other things, such as burning, uh, burning smells and smoke. Interestingly, this was after uh, catching COVID uh, himself and recovering from it many months ago. Cacosmia can be thought of as a type of parosmia, where one thing smells like another thing. However, that other thing is uh, a really foul smell. So uh, in the case of the patient I saw in the clinic, he said that some things actually smelled like the toilet, certain fruits, for example. And he found this quite distressing, as you can probably imagine. You, know, you can't enjoy certain fruits anymore. Phantosmia is when you can smell something that isn't there. Uh, you can think of it as what's called an olfactory hallucination, which is a smell hallucination. Uh, hallucinations are when you perceive something where there is nothing actually there. This is, for example, if you see things that aren't there, hear things that aren't there, and you can even feel things that aren't there. Uh, for example, um, you probably had it when you think that your mobile phone's um, just vibrated, like you'd had a text, whereas actually you didn't have one. Uh, that's a kind of hallucination as well. That concludes today's video. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, remember, it's a disclaimer. Uh, this is not medical advice. You need to see a doctor if you've got any medical symptoms. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Uh, see you next time.